Hey, this is Lewis. I'm in Chicago, Illinois, driving home from work, and uh, this is going to be an instructional English video for you. So, man, I really should have called my wife Allison before I left work. Maybe I should call her now. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, my phone's ringing. That's her calling now. I should probably answer it. Boop. Hi, this is Lewis. Hi, this is your wife, Allison. Hi, Allison. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, what should we do this weekend? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do. Should we watch a movie or should we go camping or should we eat at a restaurant? I'm thinking we should watch a movie. What do you think? That sounds good. First, I should study though. I should have done my homework last night. But after that, we should go see Frozen 2. Oh, I love Frozen 2. We should definitely go see it. But I really should have done some chores last night beforehand too. I'm pretty behind on those. Maybe I should do them when I get home. I think you should too. What time should we go on Saturday to see Frozen 2? Well, if the movie's at 8, we should leave the house at 7.30. And then we should be able to get to the movie right before it starts at 7.55. That sounds good. It should be playing at 7.55, so that time will work for me. Sounds good. So uh, if traffic isn't bad, then I should be home before too long. Great. I can't wait to see you. All right. Love you, wife. Love you, husband. Hi. Bye. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I think you have already watched a body example of our subject today. So our subject is about should. Yeah, perfect modals. So you have already watched about Mr. Lewis and her and his wife, Mrs. Ellison. Uh, they talk about the example of the function of should in sentence. So, okay, so I will explain to you more about the subject. First, the chapter's goals. So asking advice and giving obligation and also recommendation, advice or opinion. So we can use should for asking advice, giving obligation, recommendation, advice advice or opinion okay so everyone please listen to me carefully the, uh, the examples now we come to the examples you should have enough sleep so what kind of goals is it is this about advice yeah so you want to give advice you can use should or should have enough sleep next you shouldn't smoke so much okay shouldn't smoke so much also and advice okay and next the function or goals of should do you think i should apply for this job so this is about asking of recommendation do you think i should apply for this job so if you want to ask someone's opinion or recommendation you can use should for asking and then next example I feel sick I shouldn't have eaten so much spicy food at the party so modal verb should so should is kind of verb modal verb or auxiliary verb so the usage or function we often use should when we say what we think is good thing to do or the right thing to do for example to give advice recommendation opinion or obligation for example the government should do something about the economy so it is about recommendation okay next we can also say you should be doing something when it is the best thing to do or what somebody is expected to do at this moment okay you should be doing something for example I really should be studying for my exam tomorrow it means I'm not doing it yet but I think it is good idea to do right now so this is what is the function of you should be verbing 
okay so the formula is should plus be plus verb in okay should you haven't did it yet but you want to but you will do it yeah to to get the the good result okay so i really should be studying for my exam tomorrow okay next example or next explanation model verb shouldn't yeah so shouldn't is negative so the function is we sh we use shouldn't when it is not a good thing to do okay so it is it's not good thing to do or forbidden or you uh, cannot do that for example Tom really shouldn't go out he has too much homework to do so it means you cannot go yeah because you have homework that's why we should we use shouldn't go out okay so this is good advice too and then next you shouldn't smoke it is not good for your health it means you stop to smoke yeah you cannot smoke anymore because it's not good for your health so this is the function of shouldn't next should have when we use should have done it means it was the right thing to do but we didn't do it we expected something to happen but it didn't for example Henry should have finished his work two days ago it means in fact he didn't finish it okay so this is uh, like something advice you have to do that one past time yeah but the fact is today you didn't do it or finish it so this is the function of should plus have plus verb 3 okay so the formula is should have and verb 3 I think you can get the point right okay next should versus must versus had better so three of uh, three models here the functions are same but uh, they have some differences so should is not as strong as must should we can do like 50 50 but must you have to do like 90 or 100 percent if you don't do it it means you can get punishment or you can get a bad effect for example of should you should go you should stop smoking it means it will be good idea to stop smoking so it's up to you 50 50 percent but if someone say you must stop smoking it means it is necessary that you stop smoking yeah maybe from your mother from your father or the doctor said you must stop smoking if you uh, don't do it you can get bad effect for example uh, bad disease you can get asthma or something like that next should and had better are commonly used in giving advice for example i think you should take more exercise you can also use i think you had better do more exercise okay so you can use should or had better yeah in giving advice i think you should take more exercise same with i think you had better do more exercise okay next so the patterns or formula that I told you before about should if the sentence affirmative or positive so the formula is or pattern is subject should verb one if it is negative you can use subject should not or shouldn't verb one if interrogative or question uh, you want to ask someone you can use should subject verb one and then don't forget to put question mark in the end and then next pattern of should be for affirmative or positive 
you can use subject should be verb a or negative subject should not be verb a and then interrogative should subject be verb a and don't forget to put question mark and next should have the patterns for affirmative or positive subject plus should have verb 3 and then negative subject should not have verb 3 and then interrogative should subject have verb 3 and then don't forget question mark so this is three of the patterns just now really important for uh, studying uh, about this model of should okay and then we come to the next slide about cultural awareness advice column an advice column is a column in magazine or newspaper written by an advanced columnist columnist okay and then used by someone who gives advice to people who send in problems to the newspaper and then next advice column offers advice concerning daily life for example education machines merits kids students and etc so advice column you can uh, you can find from magazine or newspaper okay so you can use should to make an advice in advice column of magazine or newspaper okay next and then what another function also provide advice to share one's interest and expertise and then advice columns generally have limited capacity and also could also be criticized for raising the hopes of their correspondence for commercial gain so this is the function of advice column if you uh, read a magazine or newspaper there is a column like uh, someone's protest about what happened today and then they give advice column to the government to someone or company or something like that okay so this is the function of advice column if you want to make an advice you can use should so our lesson today don't forget about studying should three kind of should first should and then should be and then also should have verb three and i told you the function in the first meeting of the models okay so everyone don't forget to ask me if you have any questions by whatsapp or column comment on my youtube okay and also don't forget to don't forget to answer some question from the video that you have watched about mr lewis and his wife okay everyone thank you very much uh, for our lesson today assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh bye